Hi, how are you today? This is Jilly Bling. I have a project to share with you that is kind of a Christmas style. And we did this a few months ago um, using Shaded Summer, the stamp set. And I love the layout. Check this out. Isn't that cool? I'll tell you what that means in a minute. <clears throat> um, but this one is using the stamp set. I'll show you all the samples here in just a minute. Peaceful Deer. And it has this stamp, this deer that says, oh, what fun. And you could punch it out using this deer builder punch. This one fits into the punch too. And then there's these two other deer and a little bunny. There are the antlers and four trees, snow, and great words. But you can also punch out the designer paper if you have this. This was from Celebration and that also fits into the punch. So I was wondering, <clears throat> excuse me, how could I make this deer and then also one going the other direction? You turn it over, that is a trick. So I'll show you, I'll show you right here. Um, let's punch one going this way. I don't know if I'll be able to get both of them. I don't think I could get them both out of here. Okay. One deer. Oh dear. And then the other one. So the one we just did was going this way. So this one, you turn the paper around. you punch it you're like well you don't really want a white one but when you flip it over look at that and then this one is what does it do that no I think you'd have to cut it out or there's some of these no I want one going the other direction Oh, this right here. This one will fit in here. But I need a, a post-it. And then it fits in here perfectly. And what's nice about this one is you get that little white outline border. Look how cute is that. Okay, so there is... Lots of bits on my spot. There's this one with the outline. And then on the back side of the paper, you could get these two. So this one was punched regular and this one was punched showing the white snowflake paper. Punch one regular and then punch one with the snowflake paper. Very versatile. Okay, so there's that fun. And then there's all these pieces. So we'll use the punch again in just a minute. Okay, so back to the samples. There is this one. My little note says, I stamped bad. See how there's this label in here? When I stamped, thank you for your kindness, it was, it was bad. Do you like the little wreath? And this one was coloring using the blends. And then I used all the trees for the background. Then there is this one. This is the one that says, oh, what fun. And again, you could use the punch. And that is this stamp right here. So this one, no coloring required. This one is a little bit more calm, more um, more neutral. There's just garden green and Sahara sand and then coloring. My little note says, exclamation, stamp the woods first. And what I mean by that, oh, and then in here, I stamped that again. I'm on a roll, not good. Um, the woods are from 
this stamp here, Welcoming Woods. And look at this stamp, isn't that great? And you could use it as fall or as winter. And then it has great words. And then this is, if you want it on a pond, that will show the reflection. Okay. So, like how we punched out the reindeer and plaid. This one, I used his little antlers. And that is from the punch, these two little pieces here. And you know, at first I did them in... Um, espresso but because the ink is in black and many other um, parts of this project are in black the black looks best and then here I use the back side of the paper this one has the white border and these don't again stamp word or the woods first both times I, I did that stamp I had to pull off the papers not good and then very simple on the inside and I really like this one. Just very green, very garden green, just the bunny. Little snowflakes, and those were stamped off. Trees, more trees. Again, that's very simple, but it looks great. Then on the inside is just bunny. Okay, so I'll set all these off to the side and we'll get started on this project. Um, so we went through the two stamp sets for the dies. I'm using Hippo, Stitch So Sweetly in Ornate Frames. And that's for these dies, which are pretty much just for the labels on the inside of the card. We'll use those in a minute. Okay, we'll keep these nearby. And for ink pads, Sand, Memento for the coloring. Real Red, Garden Green, and Early Espresso. Okay. Lots of pieces here. Oh, and you know what? One other thing. This right here is my, my reminder. So, there is a dot on here, and I'm assuming it's to put an eye on your reindeer but I didn't like it no matter which one I put it on it looked like a mistake so I think that's what it's for and you're welcome to use that but I probably won't okay so we'll need a post-it and a post-it is for these little antlers and I'll show you what that's all about. I already stamped a few of them out. And the antlers are on Peaceful Deer. It's right here. And you can punch them out just plain in um, black paper. Or you can use the punch to punch them out. And that's what we'll do today. And at first, it's like the two of them. They're perfectly there. But on here, they're separate. So you have to separate these. Then, to get that tiny little thing into the punch going to look on here it's going to go this direction therefore I'm going to put my post-it right here and while it's turned over I can punch it so the the post-it is acting like a handle I get it lined up give it just a little bit of a squeeze and that makes the um, the punch kind of grip the paper then I'll punch it. So, antlers, antennas, antlers, whatever you want to call them. And let's do the other one. So again, I would just say put it on here and punch it, but you have to figure out, okay, this is going to go in, be about there. Therefore, I need to post it on that side. go. Started to punch it too soon. It wasn't lined up right. Okay, so there it's lined up okay. And there it is. Okay. Garbage. So let's do the scoring of the base paper. 
So all the base paper is black, and that's because it matches with the um, the designer paper. And at first, I was thinking, oh, I'll change up and give you your choice of all different color um, base paper, but this looked best. Okay, so I have my little template, and I will put all the paper sizes and the scoring and the picture of the template on my blog, and my blog is jillybling.com. And this template is going to have me score at one and three quarters, three and a half, five and a quarter, and then seven. And then after that, we're going to cut these little slits. And these little slits are cut at a quarter inch and four inches. So many people lately have said, I could understand better when I see you do it. So I'm going to do it. Okay, so... Maybe I could do it from down here. So I'm looking at this. Well, you know what? I think it's better if I do it up here because then I could leave this right here. So the first score is at one and three quarters. And don't you like my beautiful markings on here? This one in hot pink, danger, danger, it is cutting. I don't want to do cutting, so I'll push that way over here. Okay, so one and three quarters score. The next score is three and a half. And right here is my measurement, and I'm making sure my paper is pushed up against here. Okay, so three and a half. Next measure is five and a quarter. And lastly, it is seven inches. And this only goes to six, so open up this thing. Move the dies. Okay, so it goes to seven, which is right here. And push it up to the front and score it. Okay, so we're done with scoring. Next on the list is to cut it. And I'm going to cut it from the first score over this one to the second one. So I'll put it right here and I'm going to go in one and a quarter inches which is right here one and a quarter and this is the cutting. I'm just going to put it somewhere in the vicinity One and a quarter, put down the, the guide. And I could see right here is a score, and I'm gonna go through one panel, two panels. So put it right to there. One panel, two panels. Okay, and I'm gonna go into four inches. So I'll lift this, slide that to four. I'm looking right up here. Again, put this in the midpoint. Put down the trap door. Right here is my first score line. So I'll go to that and go through two panels. If you happen to go too far or too shallow, it's okay. As a matter of fact, when I did all those samples, I scored very wrong. I'll show you. So first of all, these are the cut areas. That's right. Score template. And looking at all my little scores, good, 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 good. They're right where they should be. So I'll show you my whoops in a minute. So to do this, that's kind of the base. And it goes this way and this way and that way. I'll, I'll hold it on its side here in just a minute. So, can I hold? Let you see it from the side. See how it looks like a, a W? And this part is going to pop out, and that's the base. 
Okay, so I mentioned that if you cut too far or too short, if you cut too short before you start scoring everything, you could just kind of trim it. And it's probably just a little bit that needs to be trimmed. This right here, I could tell that I, um, I cut too far. See how there's a score line and I cut past that? But once you put the panels of designer paper on here, it will um, kind of beef it up and hold it right in place. And also, once you use your bone folder to confirm your folds, that's where the paper is going to want to fold from now on. So, like I said, I did, I did not so good at first. You're like, well, that one looks like it folds pretty good. But... What's going on here? I shouldn't have cut right there. But when I put the designer paper right here, it held it right in place, so it's no problem. So when you look at all of these, yeah, I cut too far. But if I didn't tell you that, you probably wouldn't even notice. And look how the card still functions just fine. And yes, the cut goes from right there all the way over to here, but it's okay. So. Don't freak out if you cut it wrong. Okay, so we're done with the template. So this is what we end up with. That's the plan. So here are the other pieces. So this is going to go here. And I think it just gets plain put down. There's no ribbon. There's nothing to wrap around. So let's get to assembling it now so it will look more like a card. Then we just have to decorate it. Okay, so that's a big panel. And it's great that all this paper is two-sided because then you have a lot of variety. Some of these little ones, it might be better just to use liquid glue. So on one of those samples, I pulled out my... my um, my glitter. It has been a long time since I used glitter. I don't know why glitter went away. It's like cancel culture. You know how people just, things just go away. Oop, might I be missing a little piece? Um, but why did it go away? I think I'm missing something, like maybe it's just not so good to use, but I like glitter. I like bling. And so, in the comments, if anyone knows why glitter went away, let me know. I don't understand. I like glitter. I know when I'm um, sending the cards to the troops, I know they don't like glitter. And that's fine. I understand their reasoning, and it's okay if they don't like glitter. But I like glitter. Anyhow, so today... Let's use glitter. I think everyone has some. If not, I think you could still buy it. Like I said, I don't know what's going on with glitter. I'm missing one little rectangle. So, I'll find one little rectangle. I have all my stacks of papers over there. I cut some of them, not all of them. Okay, so all these pieces, stuck, ready to go. So, when I get these on, it's gonna be like the card is almost done already. Rectangle, rectangle. Look at that, it's like I'm on fire, I'm going. Oh, that goes on something else. You know what? Remember how I had that little sticky note? Stamp the woods first. See how this is ready to go? That's probably why I had to pull it off both times. Little trees. Oh, I need to trim it there. Trees going right side up. And these two 
are going to go on the white paper right here, but I'm not going to put them on until I stamp on it. I'm being smart. I'm trying to. Okay, look at that. You're like, it's almost already done. Oh, these are for... Here, just a minute. This is kind of like the card inside, the part that will open up. That will go right here. And eventually, these lovely strips will go on there, but not, not quite yet. Okay, so we have that. And these pieces... The big one is going to go on the black, and then this one for the inside, and okay, so see how there's two choices? I didn't highlight that. Um, see this stamp set? You're like, or the stamp, the words? This is shown at 80%, so it's considerably bigger than that, but it fits beautifully in this die. So, and this one does too, but this one especially, and actually any of these would, it's probably not fair that I'm placing it over that. Okay, it is right here, but it fits really nice inside of this die. So you have your choice of using this one or this one. And you're probably like, well, I don't know. We're going to use this one, but I'll show you what I'm talking about. Look at that. Isn't that nice? So that's using this other where it's flat at the bottom. And I think all of the rest of them are using this, that it has the arch at the top and the bottom. Top and bottom. Oh, this one I turned it. So it's just that one. Oh, and this one I, I did it inside out. I put these in here. And then this one on the outside. So you could do whatever you like, but that just one die fits that stamp set great. Okay, so I will cut these out. This can go on here. I'm going to stamp on it a little bit first. Hold on. And this one could go on here. Okay. So, to stamp on here... How about doing it like this bunny, but using the um, sitting down deer? So instead of let's celebrate, how about, oh, and there's this stamp here, which is that. That's like snow. Let's put that on. That will be in sand. See how it's here on bunny? I'm not sure if there's a right side up or down. Okay, just like that. Oh, and then while I have this out, let's do some snow. So I have two different snows. This one, which is a little bit bigger, but this is almost true to size. And then there's this one, which has the dots on it, and it's a bit um, smaller. On here, I use this one, so this time let's use this one. And both times I tried to um, stamp off just so it would be really soft because I don't think snow should be brown, but it really matches the project. I'll hold this up close in just a minute. A little fiber from the die cut carried ink so it made it a little bit heavy there. Okay, I'll hold this up close. So, 
stamp off just so it's softer. That's what full strength would look like. And then that stamp off. And that's where my little fiber gave me a dark snowflake. It's just really snowing right there. Okay, so this I think is ready to go on. Oh, I need to put words. How about Merry Christmas? Everyone is ready to do Christmas cards. We've been doing fall. And everyone's like, no, nope, I'm wait Ooh, maybe I could cover that up. Everyone's like, no, I've, I'm waiting for... You know what? It's hard to see when you're doing it white on white. Look at that. So, here we are. Christmas. Covered it up pretty good. And if you happen to be a person who likes baby wipes for cleaning, sometimes it kind of creates a, a problem. Um, it um, puts a little fibers on your stamps and those little fibers carry um, the ink a little bit heavy. I'll show you what I mean. So I know they're, they're great to clean your hands, but um, it makes it a little bit hard for getting good, clean images. So see all those little fuzzies? So if you get that often, ask yourself, am I using baby wipes? And if you say, yeah, it's the fibers. Okay, and the fibers transfer to the stamps and then also to the pad. And speaking of that, if ever you have them on your pad, use this which is a mini lint roller, and it will take the fibers off. And also, if you get glitter, it'll take the glitter off. But looking at this, I could tell that it's full of fibers, so it should be good now. Good to go. But if ever that happens to you, now you might know why. And I got these on Amazon. You could use one of the big ones if you want. Ooh, I'm making a mess. A mess. No day is complete if you don't have ink on you, right? Okay. Back on task. So this goes with that part. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so let's do, <coughs> excuse me, let's stamp some trees, and I'll stamp a tree here, and those are done in garden green, and this one has a, a big one, a double, and a double. How about if we do... <coughs> A big one on paper. Here's a double. Here's a tiny double. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, and we'll stamp a, a big one and a double. Here's the double. The big one. Right here. I just re-inked my pad. And I noticed it's heavy green here and a little bit lighter green there. And I am embracing the kind of whoops and pretending like it's sunshine, highlighting it right there. Yeah! And I'm going to cut those out. So it'll go like this and like that. And now I need a critter. So how about we stamp... Oh, here's that one that fits in the punch. Isn't that cute? 
how about if we stamp using memento ink that's looking good let's stamp some deer oh dear I have a t-shirt that says that it's almost time for that okay so let's do a standing up to me this is like mama deer she's looking over the baby so do that one Let's do this frolicking teenager. This one goes in the punch. I am just destined to get ink everywhere. And how about a bunny? Oh, here's the laying down deer. This one is baby deer. Okay. And we already have the antlers. Baby. Here's baby. Cute. And you know what? While I'm thinking about it, there is, did you notice the wreath on? Look at this wreath. Is that just the cutest? That is, that's what this is. These, I think those are just pebbles. I don't think that they're reindeer stuff. Anyhow, focus. This is the wreath. Let's do the wreath. And that's going to be in Garden Green. Right here. Let's do two of them. One. And... The wreath has a little bow on it. And the bow I want in real red. So I'm going to clean this off. For those, those that don't like coloring, there's a good sample you can do with punches. Those that don't like cutting, well, this has some cutting to it. Because you have to cut out that little bow. That bow right there. Okay. So, through the magic of YouTube, I'm going to color and cut these out. middle, inside, look how tiny that is, and then this is front. Okay, so let's start assembling, how about just this panel? We have to start somewhere. I probably should assemble it on the card front. I like how this one looks, I'll keep that nearby. So for the front, it's going to be like this. So I can put this one on. And you could decorate yours however, any way you like. There's no right or wrong. From looking at all those samples, you could tell I was just having a good time. So what's interesting about this is the card front, do you put in the center of these two panels or do you put it in the center of the whole card? Because I'm going to put some trees over there, I'm going to center this white panel because I'll put the trees here. New dimensionals. Whoop. I need a mini for right up here. I think this project needs some bling. I've been trying to hold back. Maybe bling on just two of them. So that little white border, look how it makes the tree stand out. Then this one.
So there's dimensionals, and then I'm going to stick down the top of it to make it look a little bit more 3D. I'm trying to do the glue as thin as I can, because if I do it thick, I'm going to sit there and be holding it for too long. I don't want to hold it. Put it underneath. So dimensionals are holding it on. Ooh, that's close. Boy, I'll pretend like I planned that. I'm looking at the die cut. I see little cutting and little shards. Ooh, they're all over. You could see the white against the black. You could see it clearly. Well, it cut good, so I'm not complaining. Okay, so now my tree, dimensional here, and the top part of it is stuck down. I could do that with this one. Kind of looks a little bit rounded and 3D-like. Okay, so now it's time to put this wreath together and I'll show you the two pieces. Okay. So here's the wreath. It's going to go this way. And here's the bow. You can see part of the bow. It's in green. And I'll just stick that right there on top with my liquid glue. So it looks like it's all one piece, but two colors. liquid glue and if you go outside the lines of where the bow is um, it's okay because it will dry clear and then put that in place and just let it sit there and dry for just a few minutes and then I'll put it on this little baby here but while it's drying this one See, if I put it up there, I cover up all that line. How about if he's right here? He could be down flat. So I'll use liquid glue. Oh, you can tell I stamped on the back. I think that was from our peaches, sweet as a peach project. And then this wreath, ooh, will it go on, baby? Yes. I'm kind of tucking it under um, little one's nose. So I guess I have to get it before it dries. Thin glue, so it dries fast. Put it right under here. 